Reverb.com just increased its seller's fee from 3.5% to a whopping 5%. What the hell's going on, Reverb? Reverb.com. What in the hell are you idiots thinking? What? You weren't content with things last year when you banned the Steel Panther Pussy Belter? Thank you ever so much for taking a stand against such an outrageous product that we all needed to be protected from. The world became such a better place because of you. George Mayor Lyda Krusen to resign. I'm pressed. Meanwhile, the sex drive, the big muff, and of course, the pussy power are still available on Reverb, but let's just sweep that little fact under the rug because it's really about someone in the administration being self-righteous and not about treating the buyers or sellers fairly. Now, for those of us old enough to remember the 80s, we went through exactly the same thing back when the PMRC tried to censor records. In the end, it did absolutely nothing but increase sales of said records with the warning label stickers. It was basically saying, this is awesome, so buy me. Is it any wonder that the pussy melter sold out? Those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it, indeed. So now for an encore in 2020, the geniuses in charge of Reverb just yanked up the seller's fees to 5% of the total sales price of items. So instead of forking over $35 for every thousand that you sell, you're now forced to hand over $50 on the same transaction. All for the privilege of selling your stuff on Reverb.com. Wow, thanks Reverb! They even put out a press release with the standard corporate bullshit detailing how this is going to be good for the sellers. As a crucial partner in the businesses and individuals who sell instruments on Reverb, we recognize that now is the time to make further investments on behalf of our sellers. Our first ever selling fee will be enable us to do that. Beginning on August 4th, 2020, Reverb's 3.5 selling fee will increase to 5%. Now here's exactly what we're all getting for that money. Investing over 30% in marketing initiatives, including SEO, online video advertising, and other digital advertising, aimed at getting sellers inventory in front of more buyers around the world. Expanding the capacity of Reverb's global customer support team by 25% to support Reverb's growing community of buyers and sellers. Increasing by more than 40% the capacity of Reverb's product team focused on creating and enhancing seller tools and services to increase the visibility of seller's inventory. Okay, I'm not sure I even understood a quarter of that. Basically, they're going to spend money on crap the sellers don't need because musicians will just search that stuff out anyway. They also left out the main motivation for the increase, lining their pockets. A little deductive reasoning concludes that behind the smokescreen of marketing bullshit that they just fed us is the real motivation. Everybody is locked down. Retail doesn't work the same way anymore, so you can't just hang out at a guitar center and try things out. Online sales have increased, so why not take an even bigger chunk of the pie? Someone in upper management at Reverb is going to be getting a very, very large bonus check because of this. Let's not miss the fact that they're also assholes. Reverb boycotted 42 Gear Street in Germany last fall, which was raising money for an animal shelter, and the sole reason given? Because I was attending. Not because of anything else, just because of me. I mean, Crumb's balls! Talk about petty and unprofessional! I was more than willing to put aside any differences I might have had with them for a greater good, but I guess it's just a little bit too much to ask from Reaver. I reiterate, assholes. Not all of them, mind you. There are some very nice people who work and are generally just awesome. But the people in charge, the people making the decisions are most definitely assholes. And here's the rub. Despite the moral harpies in charge, I kept my reverb store active. I just recently sold off my Vintech Dual 72 there, a preamp I've had since the year 2000. It was great and I hope whoever got it really enjoys it. And I was more than happy to pay the 3.5% transaction fee. But 5% is just plain fucking greedy. And of course, I have to ask the question we all want to know, does it stop there? Will it increase to 7%? Why not 10%? Because they're certainly not indicating otherwise. In the meantime, I'm not gonna say boycott Reaver because that shit just doesn't work. Instead, I'm just gonna make my own choice and close my Reaver store because I'm just simply not gonna support that shit. I will take my business elsewhere, like eBay, 
where for musical instruments, the seller's fee is still only 3.5% to a maximum of $350. The added bonus being eBay gets much more traffic and will put your item in front of that many more eyes and not throw a bunch of marketing bullshit at you. You know, I really liked the concept of Reverb.com when it first came along, but I never actually bought anything from there because the shipping fees to Canada were just fucking outrageous. Selling, on the other hand, was pretty good. I sold a number of things there over the years. That is, until this ridiculous fee increase. I think we can thank the corporate overlords at Epsi for that one. Reverb.com. So much potential, so much fail.